The first time I went to Sound Techniques was when we, the Fairport made the backing tracks for Full House, um, which was the first album I played on, played on, and it was just fantastic. It was it was a great studio. It had a great atmosphere. So much fabulous music came out of there, and it was friendly. And you know, John and Jeff and the boys, you know, new ways of just making it happen. It seems that we spent forever in there. We almost lived in there. It was all just all wonderful and new and exciting to me, and I loved being both sides of the glass. There'd be ten brass players, a rhythm section, a guitarist, you know, three backing vocalists, and somebody playing the piano all in that space. It was quite a big space, wasn't it? Oh, and the music that came out of that room, it was um, even, even, you know, the first time I worked there in 77 or something, it had already had so much brilliant music fill that airspace. Nick Drake, Writer Later, which I've had the pleasure of playing on, it's, it's, it's wonderful, and, and some of Sandy's stuff, which was done there as well. Uh, the first Fothering Gay Rackle was made there, um, which was, uh, I suppose, a bit of a milestone in itself. There was an obviously completely different atmosphere and ethos prevailing in the place. It was much more cooperative. You were not just a piece of meat that was brought in to perform a task, you were part of a cooperative venture. The track Solo, which was a, a song that Sandy wrote, which I, I, I can remember being in Sound Techniques and her sitting at the piano and Dave Mattox and myself, just the three of us, re recording that track. A wonderful afternoon. So uh, I think Sound Techniques was, was doing a much more natural approach. As were the Nick Drake sessions, because Nick did most of his stuff live. It was, you know, him playing the acoustic guitar and singing, and uh, generally Dave Mattox and myself doing the rhythm section bit and other people being overdubbed. Everybody had very strong ideas of how the sound should work together, but the fact that it was all recorded in as you know, an open a space as possible and in an altogether kind of way. It was a fabulous studio and, um, you know, wonderful sounds were made there. It was a magic space. I wish it was still there as a studio.